Today we are doing something for the first time. I think, you know, all of us who uh, donate money every year are involved in uh, trying to sponsor and support people in the organization, we know that oftentimes what you see uh, donated at an event not always cover what you are really about. We are fortunate in Maribel Home to have an endowment. And today we are fortunate to have three of the endowed donors present with us today. We have seven endowed members, and I'm going to uh, kind of talk on the cuff here, so, but uh, I really want to acknowledge all of those people today. Um, because I think it's important, if you look at your program, you should see them all listed. But uh, Dr. Catherine Bernard, uh, Mr. and Dr. and Mrs. Dion, uh, who sponsored a scholarship in the name of Elizabeth Thomas. Uh, Mr. Merriman, uh, who is a businessman in Seattle. Uh, Dr. and Mrs. Thompson, who, uh, uh, who, who came on early on to help support our organization. And Dr. and Mrs. Uh, Dr. Dr. Spratlin, Lois Price Spratlin, and Daddy Spratlin. And Lois uh, was really the, the help lead back in our organization and created the endowment for us. And of course, for the first time, we have one of our own members who uh, was actually one of the second scholarship recipients for Maryland Hunter, uh, Cherry Gilford, who is an endowed donor as well. So this year is the first time we're doing scholarships in the name of the endowed donors. And for those who are present or who their names are given, I want to tell you a little bit about them. Because we want you to be as proud of them as we are, and as grateful to them as we are, and as we know our students are. So uh, uh, today, um, it, Dr. Catherine Bernard, who is uh, a university professor, emerges at the University of Washington in Infant and Child Nursing. She was the founding director of the Center for Infant Mental Health and Development. She's a longtime colleague of the late Dr. Lewis Price Friday and a strong supporter of her work in promoting educational opportunities in diversity. She herself understood. If you educate a child, you create a healthy community. Dr. Robert and Mrs. Beryl Monaghan. Dr. and Mrs. Monaghan are retirees from the Western Washington University, where he was a professor in geography and she was a departmental administrative assistant. They have a lifelong commitment to education of diverse populations and helping others. They collaborated with laws in establishing the Burton Mahoney Endowment in the early 90s. Dr. Lois Price Sartman and Dr. Thaddeus Sartman. The late Dr. Lois Price Sartman was a University of Washington professor in emergency in psychosocial nursing and the University of Washington Unsbudsman in emergency. She was the founder of the Marijuana Endowment and a member of our organization for over 40 years. Dr. Thaddeus Crockley is the professor of emergency at the University of Washington's Foster School of Business. He and Lawrence were married for over 60 years, and their lifetime commitment to education, equity, and justice for all is reflected in their marital home contribution, as well as other scholarships, endowments, and educational programs they have created. The list of times sponsored by Dr. Richard and Mrs. Margaret Dion. Ms. Thomas was the first African American advanced practice practitioner in Seattle. Liz was the nurse for one of the early Head Start programs in the Central Area, following Lydia Boosby. Dr. Dion was a medical advisor there. He heard of the program starting for pediatric nurse practitioners and recommended it to Liz. When she applied, they turned her down because the program was full. By chance, Dr. Dion knew some of the people who were involved at the university, and they made an extra space for Liz. She 
she was a perfect candidate <coughs> as her career proved throughout her practice at Odessa Brown Clinic and in the community. Dr. and Mrs. Dion desire to honor the outstanding career and the work of Les let them to sponsor an endowed scholarship in her name. So we are very grateful and honored to carry on the tradition of our founders and members to support students financially and to mentor them to, to success. And we are grateful, grateful to our endowed donors who share our vision. So I'm going to ask them to come to center stage so we can take a picture. <laughs> Thank you. 
health care after she experienced her experience in the medical service corps. She continued in her interest as she studied the humanities and sciences in school. She's worked in nursing homes and in hospitals and worked in a variety of other settings. One of the candidates' uh, goals is to work in the community to have clients to become educated about their bodies and to become advocates with them. She has many ideas, and she presently works as an RN at Camp Murray, Washington, and in the Washington Military Department, and is enrolled in the graduate nursing program at the University of Washington, Tacoma Campus, and she is awarded $3,000.